Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can change the IP address and a DNS IP on a Kali Linux machine. Now I'm running the latest version of Kali Linux, which is a 2024 version. Let me open the terminal and we can look at the version here. So the command to look at the version is cut and then Go to the etc folder uh, os release file right here and this is the version i'm running 2024.1 now before we change the ip address we can there is uh, some commands you can run to check what the ip address is set to uh, one of the commands the easiest command is hostname dash capital i which should just show you the IP address. In this case, we, we see 10.0.2.15. Another command that shows more information is IP address. This is gonna show you the all the interfaces. We have loopback, and then we have it zero. So we are focused on this one. So the loopback is just a special IP that they machine uses to communicate with itself, with the external host, it uses this one, which is the 10.0.2.15 and it's, it's a slash 24. Now, this is what we're looking to change. Right now it's using DHCP by default. We, to change it, you need to change it to a static or manual IP. Now with that done, let's just minimize this and we'll go to this uh, network connection icon right click on it and click on edit connections and then here you see wired connection one whichever ethernet uh, connection you're looking to change or interface you're looking to change should be listed here so just select it and click on this icon the gear icon for settings and should open a new window for editing that interface or connection so what you need to do here, you need to go to the IPv4 settings or IPv6, depending on what you're using. I'm using IPv4. And if you once you get here, you see the method you're currently using. We're using DHCP automatic. To change it, just click on it or click on this down arrow. And here you can change to manual. Now that we've changed it to manual, we have to specify the IP here. So click on add, then give it a new IP. I'm gonna give it a 10.0.2. So I'm gonna give it 10.0.2.17. I'm gonna stay in the same subnet. The mask is gonna be 255.255.255.0. This is for slash 24. And then you need to know your gateway. Now at this point, if you don't know what your gateway is, you can open the, the, the you can open the terminal again. And the command to check it is a sudo IP route show. And you'll need to provide your password. And it says default via 10.0.2.2. So our gateway is right here. So go back in here, 10.0.2.2, and that's added. The next thing we need to do is we need to manually put in our DNS servers. So I'll use the Google DNS servers here, 8.8.8.8. .8 and it says you can use commas to if you want to use more than one. So can use 8.1.1 as well. And then I can click save. And that's been saved. So I can just close out this window. And I can go back to the terminal here and repeat the, the commands that we used earlier. Uh, the first command is Name, 
I. As you can see, it's still showing us the old uh, IP. Let's do IP address. Still showing the old IP. Now, uh, what we will need to do is we can either reboot. So you can reboot the machine in order for it to grab the new IP, or you can restart your network services, or you can just disconnect your wired connection and turn it back on. So I'll go with the easiest way to just disconnect it and then connect it back, connect it back on. So right click on it. Right now it's enabled. So you can disable it. Click on the check mark. Now it's disabled. And then go back in and check on it again. Click on it again to re-enable it. Now it's enabled. So if you right click, you'll see that it's enabled. Now if I clear the terminal here and do IP address, it's changed to dot two dot seventeen. I'll clear again and I will do hostname slash i and that's our new IP. So we were able to change the IP address. Another thing you might want to do is you can check your, what you're using for DNS. Now there's various ways we can check that as well. Um, so let me show two commands we can use to check that. The first one is uh, just doing NS lookup and then just type in like a website and go with google.com and they should tell you what server you're using. The server is a 8.8.8. .8. That's your DNS server that you use to resolve that google.com and we were able to resolve it to this IP here. So using this DNS server will resolve google.com to this IP right here. And this, this is the IPv4 address. This is the IPv6 address. Let's clear this. Another um, another tool you can use to check if your DNS is working fine, the dig tool. So just type dig again, type in the website and that should query the website. And then towards the bottom, it will tell you what server you use to do the query. So your DNS server again is 8.8.8 .8 and the, the port is 53 as it's showing here. Again, it's listing the IP. And it resolved google.com to this IP we got earlier. That's pretty much it. That's how you change the IP address on your Kali Linux machine. And the version I'm running here is 2024.1. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks, bye.